So, in previous session, we have seen how I established the connection between these two work. Now, if you see here, I have my sulfur to sulfurs in my connect one org where I have publishing these objects. So, in the connect two org, I may not need all all objects. Okay, maybe I only need lead or my case uh, object or the data to be subscribed. Then what I can do? I can go to this subscribe and unsubscribe, click here. Then simply what we can do, we can define from which object I want. Okay, I want account data. Okay, simply you can see I can pick the account will map to account. So we can select object we want to subscribe to standard objects. Okay which are automatically mapped between the like see yeah, as account is a standard object so it's automatically understand this would be mapped to my account object it's leads automatically to be lead object if I have any custom object then i can pick which custom object i want to map okay custom objects can be mapped to other custom objects okay so for you to receive a record from a standard connections the connection must publish the object which you want to subscribe and then once that we have something called uh, forward the record there is some options will come in my source or once we click then data will come to here okay so once record is shared any update happens is automatically the update will be sent to my subscribed org okay i want account to account case to case lead to lead and opportunity to opportunity and product to product and there is one option called auto asset so there is two two things now i am sending the data from one org to another org. Okay, let's see, I sent 50 records. So now I may not need all the 50s to accept. I may have some business logic. So what I do, I can control, okay, should it be manually somebody verify and accept it or it can be automatically accepted. So if you see, if you want automatically accept, you can go here and you can click, okay, I want all these records will be automatically accepted whenever there is any record being shared from my source org. Then I click on the set. You see how easy it is. It's, it's nothing. Just we set up the connection. We set up. We enable the sulfur connect, like sulfur to sulfur setting, and we set up the connections. And you can see what I have subscribed here. Okay, in the subscribed also you can define what are the field I'm subscribing also. Okay, let's say I'm subscribing account name. Uh, like here you can see in the account, uh, my connection sharing account name phone rating type and website let's say i want to subscribe all these fields the account phone can map to account tax and phone where you want you can map account rating i i, I can map to all these uh, accepted fields but i can take to account rating okay and whenever the value coming is a fixed value if i want to edit the value like transformation i can do if selfers connect one or if sending as a hot i can map to anything else that control also we can do here and account type you can say okay i want account type to type it's pick list so again i have options to transform the data okay see i can do that way so it's it's quite easy that is, that is uh, so uh, just set up and you define what you want to accept everything will be done here okay same way you can define for lead you can define for opportunity you can define for product whatever you want you can define that's for opportunity what are the field we have we can define it close date to close date name to name scales to scales everything or you can click on the auto map field then self force will be automatically map these fields to which target field you want to define everything we can we have here and you can see the connection history from where we are moving and like what are the like a audit okay so connection status we invitation received then we accepted so now connection is active okay, everything is there so now we set up the connection completely between two work we enable it we set up the connection we define my publish object and the subscribe object and now we'll see how am i going to share these records from one org to another org let's to do that what i'm going to do now right now this is my connect to work let's uh, go to my account tab i'm going to share the account record so if you see here in account tab let me close it let's say all accounts i click go now you can see i have few accounts here now i go to my connect one org okay let me go to my account record here i will create a new account completely and i'll show you how easily i share the data to my another org 
okay, let's new account let's give the name as sr connect one okay account name let's phone i give something okay let's say uh, account rating i gave as hot and let's say uh, account type i kept as trusted and whatever the field you want you can just populate it i click on the same okay now you can see this is a account record created now question is that how i can share this record so now what you do when i want to share the record simply go to your account tab okay from the account tab you go to your list view you can have your own list view which account you want to pass it up okay now you see there is a button called forward to connections if i want to go to any other object for example i am going to the object called as uh, um, let me see some other object let's i am in the order object for example okay when i see the all orders see i don't have that button for what the connections only for which object you have defined your connections or in that object list to you you can see a button called forward connections now let's consider i have this sf connect one account here and if you see in the my connect to org i do not have that account sf connect one is not there okay totally 12 account record is there here i have 13 records now i want to share this simply i can click on forward to connections okay so now it says see i have uh, one connection like this i can have the multiple connections so now to where i want to send okay so for this account i'll have uh, some uh, existing records like related list my contact or case or opportunity if you want to pass that also we can select it, select from here simply i click on the save see we can only forward records that you are subordinates own now okay and uh, like depends on the your security permissions okay which record you own you can pass it up or your system admin can forward all records okay now i click on the save now what i did i publish this account sa connect one with my connections okay once i do what will happen now let me see now you can see email coming out how, how the like every time when you set up the connection and you're connected everything we got the email okay like we accept the accept everything we got here okay so now once you send it let me go to my connect to org okay now if i you can see right now 12 accounts we have if i refresh it what is going to happen see now i got one more account here sf connect one let me open it so see without writing a single line of code i am able to share the data between two org and the most importantly this data are basically virtually available here okay so if you see the message this account is externally shared it was received from this connections and your company self to self connection use on this date okay now you can see what are the field i have defined in the connection that data came here okay my account type rating phone everything okay so this is in the target org where i can see this data and you can see the notifications about this it, this is this record came from the self to self connection and in the source org what we have if i go to my source org if i if you see this data okay let me refresh it okay so now this is the this is data where which i passed pass to my target org so how i'll know this data which go and is uh, subscribed by any other org or not to understand that what we can do we can edit my layout here there is a related list which we can add here so if you see the related list let me show you in the page layout if you go to related list there is something called external sharing if i keep this here now you can this is a standard related list which we have we can use it completely it's not customizable if you you can see the message this list is not customizable if i click save now you can see see this account is externally shared it was sent to one or more connections okay which connection is sent if you click here we can see completely in the external sharing okay so this is the connection which we used if you open this connection see this is the connection we share the data now who have subscribed these connections everything we can understand from here okay so now that kind of informations we can see completely here that means this data is being shared so now 
what happened finally so we are able to share data between two work without writing a single line of, line of code and these data are virtually exist here the actual data we have in my another org they will accept connect one now see i have some number i kept like this or rating is like this i will make a update so in my source org they will accept connect i click edit okay i am going to change hot to cold and let's say number i change to some different number okay now i click on the save so now see it takes a little bit time to refresh the data in target org but now if you in like if you refresh so in short time this data also will come now com complete informations we can see and until the time you have uh, uh, active connections this data will be automatically pushed to your target org and if you want to stop sharing anytime you can simply click here like i want to stop this sharing so i may do some more update i do not want to share that data simply i can go and i can stop this sharing so this is the simplest way how we can set up the connection between two salesforce org without writing a single line of code who can share the data between them using the salesforce two salesforce settings so once again to revise you will say future which allow you to share data with another salesforce.com organizations we can define the connections we can define to publish and subscribe the object data which will be virtually on any type of record okay just four steps enable the connections okay enable the connections set up en enable the selfers selfers set up selfers connection between the org which you want then you can define your template for your publishing objects and you can define which objects you want to subscribe okay follow this four steps you can see the complete data is going to be refreshed so now you can see on update this data also got refreshed from here thank you Hope you are enjoying the integration sessions. Like this, many times, many, many more updates I'll make in this uh, tutorial, and you can uh, get each one by one. Thank you. Stay tuned for next topics.